Hello, and welcome to this video on Folded, an online game about folding proteins for science. Folded is a public-powered game developed by the University of Washington and supported by other institutions more recently. It uses the challenge of how proteins fold and form to create pathogens, special proteins, or even artificial structures as the basis of the game. Folded relies on the graphical interaction and manipulation of proteins for both its function, how easy it is to use, and how well it translates to research. Through the public working to figure out how the different parts are assembled and fit together, a crowdsourced think tank is achieved. The technology behind this is similar to that used by SETI and cryptocurrency by distributing the work of a very large project to many smaller subunits which can be done by an individual or a computer. Folded is a game, one that can never be linked to the idea or trope that video games cause violence. It is almost an educational tool in the same vein as Duolingo, which uses a game-like format to promote enjoyment of learning. The way it works is both simple and amazing. It begins with you logging into your account, and this is important for latter stages of this research tool. You will be given a simple example in the tutorial of different structures. You fiddle with this by turning it on the axes, moving the arms, and more. You get to work with progressively more complex protein structures. This teaches you the basics of proteins. There are a series of in-game signals that tell you where the protein structures clash, or if the void is too large. You are scored on the number of moves you need to achieve the known outcome in the tutorial and in the live puzzles. In the online ladder, your score is compared to others or adds to your team's total. This is one of the reasons you need an account, especially if you are feeling competitive. The game even includes a handy panic button that the designers chose to name in the most unimaginative ways. They have called them both Shake and Wiggle. Shake works on the protein backbone, whilst Wiggle works on the side chains. The game introduces more complex concepts with hydrogen bonds. These are important for covalent connections between parts of the molecule. This was recently touched on in the Maillard reaction video. It then goes into the way different proteins and different areas of the protein need to be located. Things like the hydrophobic elements which need to be protected, while the hydrophilic elements do not. This is very much like the lipid bilayer that makes up many human cell membranes. It then looks at how the different protein elements prefer to be aligned such as beta sheets. It explains the different kinds of protein forms, the two most relevant being beta sheets and alpha helices. Knowing what these are and how to manipulate them are necessary bits of knowledge to complete the next 23 puzzles and then the online puzzles. The creators of the game are releasing different proteins over time that showcase both the best answers and the best problems that they have available to them. They use the information from the people solving them in their analyses in turn. Despite that, this is very much a game. A game that is used as an approach to research. The results from this are used to generate data for algorithms that will in the future solve protein shape problems. This approach is used because the human brain is very good at matching patterns and spatial reasoning. This can then be passed for analytical software and translated into something a program can use to solve problems itself. The designers of Folded made the game with more than analytics in mind. They also have a strong networking and social aspect. This makes the forum an essential element. It helps players learn the game develop skills, and build teams, which in turn compete against each other for the best score. This then helps the researchers to build better algorithms, 
because you not only have the results of an individual, but you have the results of an entire team. This may all sound very gimmicky, but it has produced recognised results in 2010, 2011 and 2012. Folded attributed members of the public with some of the success of a nature publication, deciphering the structure of the Mason Pfizer monkey virus, which causes ape HIV, and redesigning the Deal's elder reaction enzyme. All of this from a crowdsourced game. So far this video has focused on what can be done with the idea of a crowdsourced network and what has been done by Folded. But imagine the applications of this when scaled to the entirely achievable level of something like Fallout 76. The amount of research that could be progressed in a very short period of time by that many people simply fiddling with these structures, playing with them, more or less treating it like a toy it's quite significant, and hopefully this is a future tool in research. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found it useful, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please post any comments, questions, or suggestions below.